Hi, this is Joe Chambers. Welcome to Musicians Hall of Fame Backstage. Today's clip comes from an interview we did with Steve Cropper in 2019 on our Backstage show. In this clip, we talk about how Otis Redding got his record deal with Stax Records and, and the tragedy of losing him in the plane crash. Hope you enjoy it, and if you do, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new content. Again, Steve Cropper. So, Otis, I mean, um, you know, I, I can't imagine what that must have been like to hear that, that Otis had, well, had gone, you know? I can, I can tell you something that it might be that you can relate to that's physical. He is the only singer that I ever had to open their mouth and say something that made the hair on my arm stand up. When yeah. he did these arms yeah. of mine, let's hold it. You don't like it? I said, I love it, I'll be right back. I said, I ran up to the control room. I said, Jim, get out here. You gotta hear this guy sing. He'd been after us all day long. We were there cutting the band he'd worked with, Johnny Jenkins and the Pine Toppers. What happened with that was they had a hit song, you may remember this, called Love Twist. They could not get a follow-up. And that is one of the hardest things in the world to do. Once you have a hit trying to come up with something else that's also a hit, seldom ever do they better themselves, but they do, some, some people come up with hits and others just live on one song. So he was just a singer in that band and he wanted us to hear him sing. And so Al Jackson told him during the session, stop bugging us and I've already talked to Cropper. He only holds auditions on Saturday. And this was like a Tuesday or Wednesday. I said, or Al told him, he said, you probably won't get to sing for Steve. So after the session that day, and Jim says, well, why don't we end it here and then everybody go home and so we'll come back tomorrow and try again. So Al comes to me and he said, you know that guy's been bugging me all day long I ask you about? And I said, yeah. He said, could you take just 10 seconds and listen to him to get him off my back? Because he just kept bugging him. You gotta hear me sing, gotta hear me sing. Well, Otis, I guess, knew how good he was or whatever and wanted us to hear him. And that's, I told you the rest of it in front of me. Yeah. Come, tell him to come down to piano. And I said, okay, play something. He went, I don't play piano. I play a little guitar. He says, a little guitar. I don't play piano. He said, can you give me some of them church quads? And I don't play piano either. I said, do you mean like this? I was just doing uh, six, eight triplets. And he starts singing, these arms of mine. That was it. That was it. And I ran up and I stopped him. I ran up and got Jim. I said, come here. So we started playing it. Jim started getting a band together. And Duck reminded me. He said, you came out on the sidewalk yelling. And he said, get your bass back out. We got to cut something real quick. And we cut these arms of mine. Unbelievable. And the next morning, instead of cutting Johnny Jenkins, now Johnny played on it. I played piano on it. And Johnny played guitar on it. The next morning, we're cutting a B-side for these arms of mine. Because you knew. <laughs> well, Jim knew and I knew that that was a single. Yeah. It was a good song. So, you know, he, he, he goes up with the Barquets. They go to, I guess, Cleveland. Yeah. Well, and the thing that I look back on that I relate to, he did die young, 26 years old when he passed away. But think about how much stuff we recorded between 63 and 66. He was 26 years old. Yes. I'm, I'm, I didn't even know. I knew, I, I knew Otis, never had, to, never had any private pictures taken with him. I'd hang out with him a little bit. We usually were writing all the time. I remember talking to Duck, and Duck was devastated. Oh, you, absolutely. You know, we all I mean, were. I know you were, yeah. But the Barquets had barred Duck's bass. Yeah. And it was in the plane that went down. And he said they called him and they said, we've got your base. You know, they pulled it up. And Duck said, I was, I was just too, I was just too freaked out to, to even want it back. He right. said, I don't know, I don't know what happened to it. I don't, I don't know where it is. And then this was the year that we inducted you guys. Mm. And he said, I wish I had it now, but he said at the time, Didn't it was, it was just it. too much to handle. Yeah. 